Hey guys, welcome to m Minute Threat Solutions. Today I'm going to be describing how we got to the final DIY not board display on the wall here. So it's now completed and I'm gonna walk you through some of the processes and procedures I use to create this thing that only took us four years. Okay, so I had to look back at old videos and it's, it's really been about four years since we started this project. However, the last video was a couple years back. I had the long COVID whatever. Um, so anyway, looking back through this, the last video we really stopped on was starting to show how the placement of the board went with the individual knots as we started figuring out where to put everything. A lot of it was a, but a, you know, eyeball and just kind of figuring out where to put everything. There really wasn't a defined structure necessarily other than laying it out and taking pictures and trying to figure out how everything fit together because the order of operations was a little difficult when it came to actually assembling all, everything. So basically the knots, you know, all got tied with small diameter cotton rope like this. The ends were basically, I guess you could call it fused or um, bound with uh, heat shrink tubing. And, you know, you can buy that in various sizes. And obviously we used, um, or I used some of this larger diameter cotton rope as well for some of the larger knots like the Prusik loop to demonstrate that. But, um, and then some of this was dowel rod too. So in the description, I'm gonna put the very minute specifics of the things that we used, but I do wanna describe it here as I'm walking through this. But I don't exactly know how many knots are on here. I didn't really count them. Um, but so I worked with a local award shop and they were able to make these really cool plaques. This is like the leftover from these little small brass plaques and they just look brass, they're not actually brass, but I believe that they were lasered somehow or like a dye sublimation print on them. So they're, they measure two inches by a half an inch. So I'm not sure if you can source a local word shop to make those, but they weren't really weren't that expensive to make. I think that was 15 to 20 bucks or so to make those label uh, placards. And then I used some, what do you call them? Brass plated or brass look nails to, uh, to put them in. And when I started this thing, I just grabbed a scrap piece of MDF that I had at home, which MDF is now super expensive. Um, so sorry about that. You should have bought your MDF four years ago. Uh, but the, the diameter of this is like, I think it's like a half an inch or thickness of it is about a half an inch. And I would actually recommend more like seven eighths of an inch because I don't really want to show this, but don't look at the back, it's terrible. Um, but my nail holes all came through as I, cause I was actually drilling into these. So rather than trying to tap these nails in, uh, I actually drilled a pilot hole with a 1 16th inch, 1 16th inch bit um, first before I pounded all these nails in. So I, I tried to be a little sporadic and put these through, but um, I wound up having to actually drill through into the board because it was kind of a, a nightmare to put them through. And the only thing I don't have on the table that I used is a hammer. So that's pretty easy to source. But so again, plaques were the two by ones. So this is actually like a vinyl wrap. We actually did this on the arcade cabinet too. So I used the same shop that I did that for. And this is what the file looked like. So our graphics guy, Matt, came up with this for us. And I put this on the, the board, basically just vinyl wrapped it. You can kind of see, I'll show you the horrible looking back again, but you know, I just kind of tucked it over the corners. Um, another thing you can use too with this is like a, like a torch and the torch will actually help um, seize this stuff up from the wrapping material. So um, the guy Wes that printed this for me has a whole big technique on how to do this and he's the one that wrapped the, the cabinet for us, came up with the design. But um, you can see I tried to do this myself and I'm not so hot at it and some of these places bubbled up a little bit but I'm not really that worried about it. Our janky ship's wheel became a little more janky as the assembly process went in. And obviously you can see I didn't drill a good enough pilot hole on this one thing. I don't know if you can really see it, but it kind of um, fractured the janky ship's wheel, making it even jankier. So um, that's kind of how everything came together. Uh, but the ropes themselves to, to maintain the structures, you can see they really don't move. Um, even this stuff like this, hardly moves at all, but I use Mod Podge. So that's uh, something I've used for other projects in the past. And you can buy some of these really cheap foam brushes and just brush it on. Uh, but you have to actually have quite a few foam brushes because after a while, the Mod Podge will start deteriorating the foam and the foam will actually come off in the, 
in the ropes that you're putting it on. So basically I just laid those pieces of rope out on um, a piece of, I guess it was like an envelope basically, like a plastic envelope and coated those and then kind of had to piece them in. And this was all one big debacle when, I, when it came to, to securing all this with Mod Podge. So I had to make sure everything coming off this wheel was all laid out at once. It was kind of a nightmare, but it made it work. Um, this is a project I've come back to over and over again over the years and I finally made myself sit down and, and complete it. I guess the largest part or the, uh, the biggest labor in this was obviously the Mod Podge and nailing all these little things in. You may want to like actually draw some lines. I kind of eyeballed all this, so I feel like I got it pretty straight. That's one of my superpowers. I think I can look at something and see if it's straight or not. Um, however, the, the biggest challenge was probably weaving this Solomon bar that goes around it. It really wasn't too bad. Um, I obviously did that a couple years ago, so I don't even remember how bad it was anymore, but I remember it being a little tedious. Um, so cotton rope, drill bits, heat shrink tubing, foam brushes, Mod Podge. I had a heat gun too to, uh, to do the heat shrink on the ends of these two. Um, this is just a generic heat gun, obviously a drill. Uh, but that's really it. That's, there, there really wasn't too much to this in terms of, I mean, I guess the process was trying to figure it all out because I didn't follow any templates. I just kind of winged it the whole time. I'd, I'd seen these on ships and you know being in the Navy this is something I wanted to do for a long time and obviously it took me four years to finally make it happen but knots have always been um, something that I've loved and I've wanted to make a knot board like this so I'm, I'm pretty happy it's finally completed. Um, if you do want to use like a vinyl wrap like we used um, I'll try to put some more instructions in the description however um, I will have this as a free download for members and you can download this um, as a like kind of an e-book download type of thing on our website. So I'll put a link in on that too if you want to check that out. Um, and that's really it. I think, like I said, you can probably manage everything. If you've got a heat gun and a drill, I think you can probably put all this together for less than 100 bucks, if I had to guess, and your time. But uh, hope you enjoyed it, and this is the DIY Not Board Display.